A lot of people talk about driving brand equity as an outcome of marketing. I would actually argue that's not what we're trying to create. What we're trying to create is customer equity. Brand equity in itself doesn't create financial transactions. Behaviors of customers create economic outcomes that drive shareholder value. That's where shareholder value comes from. So ultimately, I think a company like Geico has done a world-class job of this. Over the last 15 years, they've taught the US population to shop for auto insurance through a message called 15 minutes will save you 15%. They've been on point in that message now for 16 years. The Martin Agency's done a world-class job of delivering that message in very creative ways, from you know, the googly eyes to the gecko to the caveman, whatever the scenario might be. They've also done a world-class job of building out the right-hand side of this, the idea that I actually know that David Williams just mo bought a motorcycle, or you know, John Doe's daughter just turned 16, or Progressive just changed a rate in Ohio, or Allstate just doubled the spend in Texas, or whatever the things that are happening in the marketplace at the individual household level, and to be able to respond to those things in an appropriate way. So ultimately, I think at the end of the day, in the next decade, we'll find a world where today, I would argue, for the most part, brand drums Trump's customer. And I think the companies that find competitive advantage in the next decade will find an operating methodology and capability where customer will trump brand. And I'm not for a second saying that brand isn't important because you can look at, I think without the clarity of that brand message for somebody like Geico, I don't think they'd be where they are. But ultimately it's about the integration of those things. And the truth is that integration lives only through the, through the granularity of data. So in reality, the idea that the brand folks are going to come over and integrate to the customer side, or the media guys are going to come up and integrate to both of them is pretty highly unlikely, sort of lightning in a bottle. Possible, but not likely. Um, and in reality, it's the, it's the transactional database marketing, CRM, analytics, measurement, targeting capability that is in the best position to actually integrate these things. What are we really integrating? So people talk about integrated marketing. They talk about you know, the integration of the look and feel of the website you know, to the TV ad, to the direct mail piece, or whatever. And I actually, I don't, think, I don't really think there's any progress to that kind of integration. Because in reality, what are we really integrating to? The product strategy, a messaging strategy? And product and messaging lives pretty low in the organization for the most part. Ultimately, I think what we're integrating to is the customer. The challenge in most marketing organizations is most marketing organizations don't even control all of marketing. Most marketing organizations are dominated through a DNA of, of, of advertising, media, if you will. But ultimately, these strategies need to live across the entire C-suite to understand customer strategy as a business strategy so that I can work across all four of the Ps, which is unusual for a CMO to, to actually own. Um, and where we do see CMOs that have that kind of breath, we see them making a lot of progress. You look at somebody like a DirecTV where the CMO is actually the chief marketing and sales officer, he, his breath is tremendous in that organization. <laughs>